firstly, fully fit squad to pick from again, like you had the other day? Yeah, everybody's fully fit. Patrick, everybody's. Oh, okay. We'll go again. Okay. Ah! Uh, yeah, everybody's fit, thankfully. Um, came through unscathed with the Sweden game and everybody's fit and raring to go for Slovakia. So you said yourself after that game that the team can play better. So given that, what are the sil uh, selection dilemmas for you? Well, I think with the squad that we've picked, um, the, the depth and the quality, and it means that a, a lot of the players, as I said before the game, would can feel themselves pretty un unlucky not to be uh, starting in the first game. Um, but... Uh, I've, I've got decisions to make whether I mix it up um, and whether I freshen it up a little bit. But uh, but yeah, you're right. I, d I didn't think we played anywhere near as well as we can. Um, whether it's uh, the first game in the tournament, uh, whatever it is, w what was important was that we didn't lose and we're on the board and we're still in there of uh, looking to uh, to qualify. When will you make those decisions then, those tough decisions? And when will you tell the players? Probably tomorrow morning. <laughs> no, no, no. That's uh, that's you know. We'll, I'll uh, I've got a team in my mind, and uh, I'll have a little sleep on it, and then probably uh, go for it in the morning. With the team, obviously, you've got a lot of experience around you now in terms of Gareth Southgate, Dan Ashworth, Steve Holland as well. Yeah. How valuable are they to them, and do you use them as a sounding board in terms of selection? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, it is really helpful. I think it's great for a start that, that Gareth and Steve and, and Dan are there because it shows the, the players that there is a there is a pathway for them and, and that if the senior manager can take the time out of his busy schedule to come and watch the 21s, I think um, it gives them a boost. Probably James will be able to tell you better than uh, that than I would. Uh, but for me, it, it's been very positive. Um, we are very close anyway, uh, but it's, uh, it, it, it's great that I can... Uh, if I've got any questions or because he knows the players so well and I've been one in Toulon, um, it, it, it helps me to, to have a sounding board, yeah. Do we want to hold fire or? You're going now. Is it knockout football now, AD? Without a doubt, yeah, we've got to win. We've got to win um, and win the next one after that as well. But we've got to obviously beat, this, beat the Slovakians first. Um, they've had a brilliant start, a very good team, really impressed with them uh, and uh, I thought it was, a, it was a really good game, the, Pol the Poland and uh, Slovakia game, probably better than our game um, and it'll be, it'll be very, very difficult and we would totally respect the result that they got and the, and the team that they are. In this early stage, what have you made of the tournament so far, particularly Spain, who I think took a lot of people's breath away last night? Um, yeah. Uh, I think they did. I, I thought. Uh, I, I think that group in particular probably shaping up um, as the winners and and perhaps uh, get the six six points needed perhaps as a as a runner up. So it makes it even more important that we do what we've got to do and make sure because it's a tournament where there's no uh, there's no grace given. You've got to hit the ground running. You've got to get points on the board and you've got to qualify and the, the, to buy top in the group. So it puts a bit more pressure on it from the start. And do you look at Spain and think with the players you have out there, the group you've got, you can get to that level? Um, yeah, and and beyond it, really. That's what we want to do. I mean, you've got to look at um, everybody's opponents um, and, and they've started really well. W what we'd like to do is is keep getting better and better and that's what we have to do. And one for James. Do you look at it as a, a knockout game as well, James? You're almost four wins now will do it. Nothing else will do. Yeah, of course. I think um, you know it's an incredibly po uh, important game for us, um, and obviously we know that that we didn't hit the levels that that we needed to individually and collectively the other night, and uh, we'll be looking to put that right uh, tomorrow night. As Adi mentioned, the senior manager out here. What is it like having him out here? Is it an inspiration for the players? Yeah, of course. It's a massive boost. Um, you know, ultimately for us, that's where we, where we want to end up, and. Uh, you know, if we can uh, be around him and, and be comfortable around him, that'll make that transition period smooth. And it shows that the pathway's there for all of us. Um, and, and, and it's up to us to take that opportunity to, to hopefully be there uh, come, uh, uh, come the next squad. Hi, Eddie. Um, I know you've got uh, difficult decisions to make in terms of picking your team, but um, I think Slovakia are probably going to... Be as be as difficult to break down as as Sweden were. I mean, are, you, are you thinking of changing things tactically as well, or? 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think uh, I think it's a fair point. I, I think the way that Sweden play throughout the age groups um, that makes them very very difficult to beat. Uh, whereas I, I, when I saw the uh, game against the uh, Polish for Slovakia, it was it was end to end. It was it was it was thrilling game to watch. Um, both teams trying to win the trying to win the match and. Um, a, a lot of changeovers and a, a lot of uh, shots at goal and a lot of um, uh, entries. Um, whereas our game was uh, really attack against defence for, for some of it. Um, and I think they'll be slightly different. So therefore, we will have to be tactically different in how we approach, particularly how we attack. AD, with the games coming thick and fast, can you afford to rest players? Or do you have to go sort of full pelt for every game? Well, we have to we have to go full pelt for every game, but at the same time, um, because of the squad that I've got, I've got to think about using everybody that's in it really. Uh, but as you say, we have to win, so I've got to pick the best team. Whether somebody might be a little bit tired, they might have to play a smaller part in the game, uh, and maybe think about what goes on in in the last half hour of the match and, and whether the lads. That I pick are, are capable of, of going and, and doing the two ninety minutes, which pretty much they all are because of the work that we've done before getting here. Yeah, but, uh, no shots on target by other side in the first half of the first match. Uh, is that something we're going to obviously have to improve on tomorrow? And maybe get a few more shots off. Well, w w without a doubt, yeah. I mean, that's uh, that that's what we're good at, really. That, that's was probably the, the most uh, the most one of the most disappointing things out of the game. But you know, it's very difficult when you've got a yellow wall to break down. Um, and you've got to try and get get down the sides of them because they're very narrow. Um, I think uh, I think this this team that we play next will be very different in, in terms of how they uh, approach and what they want to do. They've got nothing to lose. They've got three points, um, and I, I think it'll be a good game.